Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm William Hayne. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. This Saturday night, other than Donald Trump angering everyone for appearing on SNL, another annoying giant white object was spotted. This one in Los Angeles. That thing? Maybe a UFO? Doesn't stick to Twitter because that's what you do when you witness some kind of exciting occurrence and posted photos and videos of the unidentified burning bright object. Reports of dogs barking and an Angelino stupefied, it must be aliens. <laughs> Well, turns out it was actually a military test missile launch, which mm -hmm. means it's definitely probably still aliens. The missile in question, a Trident 2 D5. It costs about $30 million. The Navy just decided to, I don't know, blow it up Saturday night, you know, for science or some shit. Mm -hmm. Commander Ryan Perry says this is a part of an ongoing and frequent launch system to make sure it's working right. Wait, wait, wait. So you guys just shoot $30 million missiles into the air and then blow them up frequently just to make sure it works? How long have you been doing that? Has it gone well every time? Then it works. Also, why shoot it out over major cities on a Saturday night? Why not over, I don't know, the ocean where it won't scare and fuel the paranoid masses? So many questions. Definitely no legitimate answers. So it must be alien. <laughs> Okay, if it's aliens, I'm done. Same. Also, why didn't they just warn people? Weren't, like, wouldn't they just be like, we're gonna shoot a missile? Because it's, mm-hmm, aliens. It's totally aliens. Now, just before Hallow's Eve on October 28th, 2015, an apple became the object of concern and not because there was a razor blade in it. No, a girl named Jessica Pellegrini began choking on said apple. However, local hero 13-year-old Brandon Williams pounced on the scene and performed the Heimlich maneuver, saving her life. Now, when he was asked where he learned these moves, he responded with the tutorials of none other than SpongeBob Squirpants. I remember that scene. Now, it turns out these students of Staten Island's Barnes Intermediate School are both autistic. The school's paraprofessional Brian Griffin stated, some people may have preconceived notions about autism. These kids are intelligent, loving, just amazing. And he's right. We haven't had any feel good news in a while, so let's give these kids a victory dance. Hit it, Steve. One more. Hit it. The free train has been derailed in Wisconsin, according to the New York Times, and more interestingly so, it happened two days in a row. The incident resulted in the spilling of thousands of gallons of ethanol into the Mississippi River. Can you spell Mississippi? M-I-S-S-I-R, world is dying. A total of 25 cars were derailed with one of those cars spilling over 18,000 gallons of ethanol. The second train that derailed was this Sunday afternoon when a Canadian Pacific Railway train fell over in Watertown. It's been estimated that 10 cars have fallen, spilling crude oil out of the damaged ones. However, a report from ABC News states that less than 1,000 gallons were spilled from only one leaking car. 35 homes in this area were evacuated, but thankfully no one has been reported injured in either derailment. This just isn't clear enough. There are too many sources of information. Well, I'm done. Why, Will? Because the Earth can't take this, Steve. I understand the Earth is big, but how would you feel if I spilled a can of oil on your shirt every three weeks? Okay, this, this, this isn't really adding up. You know what? I think I know what's going on here. What? Will, are you white knighting the Earth? I can take on that responsibility. Okay, you're just in love with the Earth then. Yes, Steve. I made love to the Earth, and she's pregnant. Oh, shit. Will's malfunctioning again, guys. Can we get a screwdriver over here or something? Be beautiful, Earth. I I'm, I'm in love with you. Of course, of course I have co co condoms. Oh, Follow me on Twitter. You ever want to get in a fight? We're stuck doing what every other human has to do and go to the bar and get stupid drunk? Now, you don't even have to leave your home to set up a fight. Oh, finally. Introducing Rumbler. It's an app that is launching its beta today and is basically the Tinder for fighting. It hooks up strangers in your area that want to brawl. Wow, this is just... The Rumbler team told New York Daily News that they're 100% serious about the app and that we have raised relatively substantial funding from private American investors and the app is fully developed. Hold on, this might be a bad idea. It promotes violence and could potentially be very dangerous. And it will definitely also glorify that minority males in most major cities from 18 to 25 are angry, violent Neanderthals. Well, if the converse fits. Fox News is gonna have a field day with this app. Trump's already investing. The team said Rumbler is an app for recreational fighters to find, meet, and fight other brawl enthusiasts nearby according to the app's official website. It encourages users to insult their matched opponents with a pro tip. Tell your match what you don't like about their picture. Okay, this is a really bad idea and I kind of love it. Yeah, kind of promotes racism a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't have to be racist. But they could just be looking stupid. The app beta launches at 5 p.m. Eastern tonight, had an early sign-up sheet that invited the first 2,000 people to try out the app. But of course, it's no surprise that over 78,000 people attempted to sign up for the beta, and an email was sent out to only the luckiest of the machoists to sign up. Apparently, after your match and you've talked enough smack, the location of the said fight can be broadcast to Twitter so people can come and watch. And yeah, there's a chat feature where you can talk some more shit. So either this is the end of humanity or the perfect way to weed out the super violent people who want to fight all day. So would you guys use this app? Have you already downloaded it? Do you think it's beneficial to society or not? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm William Hayes. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Thanks for watching. Through and nobody expects it. Boy, I wish I was watching this with only one person I care about. Take it outside. Yeah. I always loved Steve. Don't think I didn't.